And that's why I love the work that we're doing at Chickasaw Community Bank because right. our mission is building better lives for everyone. And it's not just the bottom line. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are concerned about the bottom line. But as a CEO, you know, a lot of decisions come across my desk every right. day. But a lot more decisions get made before they get to my desk. Usually if it gets to my desk, it's a big decision or it's a problem. Mm -hmm. And what I try to do um, when I'm having a decision and kind of using a rubric to make a decision is, does it add to the bottom line? Yes, I have to be concerned with that as the CEO. That's just, we have investors. Yeah, we're on a business. Yeah, that's exactly right. We have our shareholders who expect us to turn a profit. We're not a a not-for-profit. We are a for-profit organization. But the second piece that I ask with that, and I think maybe I'm trying to drive down to every level, level is, does it add to the bottom line? And then the second question is, does it add to our culture? Mm -hmm. Uh, Culture is behavior. Values are ideas and and, and thoughts, and and frankly, um, um, you know, they're they're really, values are really um, ideas that you have, but culture is the behavior. Mm -hmm. And if something adds to the bottom line and it adds to our culture, that's an easy, easy yes. But whether you're talking about hiring someone or or relieving someone, or you're talking about investing in new products and services, or or new offerings. Those are the kind of criteria that I use. Does it add to the bottom line? Does it add to our culture? If it's both, that's easy. Right. But usually it's one or the other if it gets to my desk. Yeah. Um, and I try to lean toward culture. If it's going to add to our culture, mm-hmm. I try to be a yes every time, yeah, even, yeah. even at the expense sometimes of profit. Right, because in the short term, it's an expense, right? But in the long term, it's an investment. It, it, an investment, it yeah. pays off and it's training your staff and you know, and probably it's t- taking a while for you to train yourself to be like, to not think of that short term and like you mentioned sh- shareholders and the bank in general you're like, yeah. you know I'm sure you've had this been situations you've had to do a lot of explaining and like, hey, this makes this doesn't make sense right now but in five six however many months or years it's going to make total sense and then you're on that building train that's right so I'll, I'll give you a great example of where that value system mm-hmm. uh, culture and, and, and bottom line really came into place it was during this pandemic when we were faced with the idea of the PPP uh, which the payroll protection yeah. uh, program which you know got a lot of attention which helped out a lot of businesses mm-hmm. around the country uh, after governments forced them to shut down right you know, it was it was a new system. There wasn't even guidance on it. It was legislation that had been passed less than a week. Mm-hmm. And we had to decide if, in fact, we were going to participate in it, yeah. even though there's no guidance, even though there's no there was a lot of uh, a lot of our team was 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 hesitant, was was reticent, you know, and there and rem- remind you, we're not immune from what's happening. People here right. had fa- sick family members. They were scared about employment and kids being educated. I mean, we all had that going on. And so the question was, are we going to participate? Are we going to do it? And I would say maybe a majority of our team had major reservations yeah. about it. And, and I tend to be a consensus builder. It's in my nature. And so I, I rely a lot on my team. I'm not a uh, a hothead who goes off on his own very much. I mean, I, I can make a decision, but I, I, I much more prefer collaboration right. kind of as a default. And I, I, I didn't poll it exactly, but I didn't feel like everyone was saying, yeah, let's go jump into this new, yeah. this new program by the federal government, you know, that by the SBA that we, we have no, absolutely no idea how it's going to work, how we're going to get repaid, right. what's involved. And I remember, you know, pausing and praying about it and just thinking, okay, if we're a community bank like we say we are, and we our community is now in need, mm-hmm. like we can be helpful, will this add to the bottom line? I hope so. I think mm-hmm. it will. They, you know, I got to believe it will, but there's a good chance it may not. Yeah. Does it add to our culture? And I just thought if our if our employees are out there on the front lines helping mm-hmm. businesses stay open to grow to survive, right? I think that's going to add. And sure enough. Um, I can get emotional just thinking about it. You know, we made the decision to do it. And then all of a sudden, you may recall the two big DeFell banks Mm -hmm. were deciding not to do it. And then they said they would do it, but they would only offer it to current customers of a certain network or value. So you had all of these people that didn't qualify. And and we stepped up like most. And we're not unique in that. I'm not, Mm -hmm. you're not telling us on the, I'm not trying to, you know, overstate kind of our yeah. our involvement, but 
like most community banks, we stepped up to the plate and said, we're doing this. We're committed because it's good for our community. And I think it was the right decision. Yeah, yeah. And as a result, we haven't had any, you know, any uh, major issues. For defaults, we had a record year in 2020. Yeah. And I think 2021 is going to be a big year for us, right. too. Right, so. because then that pays off. It builds and That's people right. trust you. New and customers. more new customers. Word yep. gets around. It's.